Yeah, real, uh, real happy camp at the moment. Um, very disappointed after last week, so we had a big week on the track and it uh, doesn't get much bigger than beating Collingwood down at the G on a Saturday night, so it was very good. Obviously they had a lot of injuries during the game. Some people are saying that might have contributed to their performance, but do you guys feel like it was more the way you guys played that, that really got the win? Uh, yeah, definitely. I thought we cracked them before their injuries started happening. Obviously that wouldn't have helped them, but um, our pressure was really good. Our clearances contested footy right from the get-go. So. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate, and it's not see, it's not nice to see so many fellas go off injured. But um, I think that we were well on our way to winning anyway. I was gonna say, is it hard to put that out of your mind when you're out there? You can see the guys they're dropping, and that you probably should be able to overrun them. Is it difficult to sort of stay in the moment and stick to? Um, oh, not really, not out there. To be honest, I didn't realise um, that they had so many players that went off. I didn't I didn't know until after the game that they were missing three and two relatively early. So. Um, it doesn't cross your mind, but it was raised that they did lose numbers so that we were going to be able to run them off their legs because they had limited rotation. So, but it, yeah, it doesn't affect the way we go about it. Have the boys spoken since the win now about trying to harness some of that positivity and, and, and try and take that into the remainder of the season? Uh, yeah, definitely. Obviously, that's a, the joys of footy. Like, obviously, disappointed last week and this week it's, uh, it's good. So, um, Our second half of the year has been really good, so we're looking to build on that. And Obviously, we're not playing finals footy, but... Um, we're building towards next year, so that's what we're going to continue to do. How important would you say that win was then for building towards next year? Um, yeah, it, it was great. Obviously, um, MCG is the home of finals, so that's where we want to be playing good footy, and we've said that. So that was that was a, a big bonus that we played well down there, and um, obviously going forward um, to play well, and obviously young players get games into them. So, like just on a personal front, obviously you've. Um, learning to deal with taggers and you had another one on the weekend you did well against you got probably the stiffest star uh, competition this weekend do you think you're looking forward to uh, against Brawley? I can't wait yeah if he does um, Zorko played pretty well so he might get it um, that'd be nice <laughs> um, but yeah look Crowley or not Crowley but McCaffrey last year got a hold of me up here in the wet so um, I was really focused going in I didn't want that to happen again and um, Crowley did the same thing earlier on in the year so um, I'm definitely looking to make amends this weekend. Here's, sorry, that seemed to me that the, the day Crowley got a hold of you was a turning point for you, and you've learnt how to work your way through tags now. Like, do, do you feel that way, or has it just been coincidental that because that was probably the last time a tagger really nutted you? Um, yeah, definitely from I think my form from that game turned around, um, but I've I've. Yeah, I've had, had attention um, over the last year or two, but they're probably the two best at it. And uh, it was well documented that the two of them um, got the better of me. So uh, I guess from there, my work rate's definitely gone up and the boys are starting to help me a lot more and it makes it a lot easier. And um, when we're winning clearances and stuff like that, and especially with Steph Martin and The Rock now, he's such a, such a, an, it's a, such an advantage for us that um, when we are winning the footy, it makes it easier for me. Do you like getting inside and getting amongst the traffic? Then you find it easy to, to loop tags in, in close because, like this previously, you've probably been more of an outside player. Yeah, definitely. When you're sitting on the wing, it makes it easier from because you could just kind of run your patterns from there. But inside, you're able to um, put blocks on for each other, and um, I'm able. To, it helps the other boys as well. I'm able to do two to ones and um, free up them around the ground, so it benefits all of us really. What makes Crowley so so difficult? Um, not too sure. In free all. Oh, I suppose I was sitting in the four line and we only had five inside 50, so that would have made it a bit easier for him and it was wet. But um, obviously he's strong, he's fit, um, he's tough and he's, uh, he's diligent and he gets a lot of help from his teammates. I found it out the last time I played on him, so um, it's going to be tough, but uh, the team's up and about, we're going well and uh, we're looking forward to it. Did what they did yesterday, um, it sort of doesn't scare you, but there's another warning that they're sort of finding their, finding their best at the right time of the year again? Um, I wouldn't say it scares us. It's um, obviously we want to keep challenging ourselves, and they're one of the, they're one of the best teams in the comp. And it's good to see him going well, and um, it's going to be a big challenge for us. Pierce, you, you mentioned work, right? That's the simple key to breaking a tag, isn't it? You just got to be prepared to keep going. Yeah, well, that's it. That's um, generally you might not get him at the start of the game, but if you work throughout the game, you'll get him in the last quarter. So um, that's what I've taken from it, and I'm trying to put it into practice.